M1 is a breakthrough chip for the Mac. Our approach with M1 was to deliver industry-leading performance and features while relentlessly focusing on power efficiency. As a result, M1 delivers a giant leap in performance per watt, and every Mac with M1 will be transformed into a completely different class of product. M1 is the first system on chip, or SOC, for the Mac. Let me show you what that means. Until now, a Mac needed multiple chips to deliver all of its features. It had chips for the processor, I.O., security, and memory. Now with M1, these technologies are combined into a single SOC, delivering a whole new level of integration for more simplicity, efficiency, and amazing performance. M1 also features our Unified Memory Architecture, or UMA. M1 unifies its high bandwidth, low latency memory into a single pool within a custom package. As a result, all of the technologies in the SOC can access the same data without copying it between multiple pools of memory. This dramatically improves performance and power efficiency. M1 is the first personal computer chip built using the industry-leading 5 nanometer process technology. With incredibly small transistors measured at an atomic scale, M1 is remarkably complex. It packs the largest number of transistors we've ever put into a single chip. M1 has a massive 16 billion transistors, and we use all of these transistors to give M1 amazing performance and leading edge technologies. And our goal is to make each of these technologies best in class. The incredible performance of M1 starts with the CPU, which features two types of cores, high performance and high efficiency. Each performance core is designed to run a single task or thread as efficiently as possible while maximizing performance. We've been advancing it year after year. And now with the huge improvements in M1, when it comes to low power silicon, our high performance core is the world's fastest CPU core. And M1 has four of these incredibly fast high performance cores. So multi-threaded workloads take a huge leap in performance as well. To handle lighter workloads more efficiently, M1 brings high efficiency cores to the Mac. They use a tenth of the power while still delivering outstanding performance. These e-cores are the most efficient place to run lightweight tasks and allow the performance cores to be used for the most demanding workloads. And M1 has four of these efficiency cores, which on their own deliver similar performance as the current generation dual-core MacBook Air at much lower power. And finally, M1 has our latest performance controller that determines in real time where code runs for maximum performance and efficiency. Altogether, the 8-core CPU in M1 is by far the highest performance CPU we've ever created. And more importantly, it delivers this performance at the lowest possible power. In fact, the M1 CPU leads the industry by delivering the world's best CPU performance per watt. Let's take a look. Here is the CPU performance and power usage of the very latest PC laptop chip. And here's M1. M1 delivers significantly higher performance at every power level. And at just 10 watts, the thermal envelope of a MacBook Air, you can see that M1 delivers up to two times the CPU performance of the PC chip. And M1 can deliver the peak performance of the PC chip while using just a quarter of the power. This is a big deal. What you are seeing here with M1 is extremely rare. When you look back at the single-threaded performance of low-power silicon in the Mac, gains in performance per watt have been very small from one chip to the next. But when we look at M1, we see a massive three times improvement in performance per watt. This is unheard of. Now, what about graphics? We design GPUs that deliver the maximum graphics performance in the thermal envelope of each of our products. This results in a balanced system with a GPU that complements the incredible performance of our CPU complex. Typically, PCs can't achieve this balance with integrated graphics. To get great graphics performance, they have to use a discrete chip which consumes a lot of power. M1 is different. With its integrated graphics, we get the best of both worlds, incredible performance and low power. The GPU and M1 benefits from years of thorough analysis of Mac applications. It's the most advanced graphics processor we've ever created. And with up to eight of these GPU cores, M1 is capable of executing nearly 25,000 threads at a time, from teraflops to texture bandwidth to fill rate, along with its incredible efficiency, M1's GPU is in a class of its own. Here is the graphics performance and power usage of that same PC laptop chip. And here's M1. M1 delivers significantly higher performance at every power level, with M1 delivering up to two times more graphics performance than the PC chip. And again, 
and one can deliver the peak performance of the PC chip while using just one third of the power. When it comes to personal computers, M1 has the world's fastest integrated graphics. Now, Apple Silicon is more than just a fast CPU and GPU. We pack our chips with powerful custom technologies. M1 features our most advanced neural engine. With a 16-core design, it's capable of executing a massive 11 trillion operations per second. The entire M1 chip is designed to excel at machine learning, and tasks like video analysis, voice recognition, and image processing will have a level of performance never seen before on the Mac. Finally, M1 integrates our latest generation secure enclave. It's faster than ever and brings best-in-class security to the Mac. So that's M1, our first SOC designed for the Mac. With its 8-core CPU featuring the world's fastest CPU core, along with an 8-core GPU that delivers the world's fastest integrated graphics, M1 leads the industry in performance per watt. And it has leading-edge technologies like the Neural Engine, Thunderbolt and USB 4, a faster secure enclave, our latest ISP, and more. With its unique combination of remarkable performance, powerful features, and incredible efficiency, M1 is by far the best chip we've ever created. And we're absolutely thrilled to bring it to the Mac. Now, back to John.